these Wolves players. They fought so hard to beat Blues at St Andrews earlier in the season. Blues were down to 10 men after only 10 minutes of the game. They've had plenty of change. Regular under-23 watchers won't be surprised to know. Are older than Wolves, who despite having Sondergaard and Taylor Perry in today, still are worth reiterating the lineup. Sondergaard in goal. The back three tonight is Ollie Tipton, Christian Marquez and Justin Hubner. Dexter Limbakisa, uh, right wing seasons in Premier League 2, Division 2. Blues just being held off the bottom by Reading in their first campaign at this level, having got Category 1. This is Nico Gordon back to the goalkeeper. It's, you know, the effort, determination. I, I do think, you know, you, you watch the first team, let's not talk about, you know, Saturday at the moment, but in terms of, like, effort, work rate, determination, it's what you sort of normally see. He pretty much came from nowhere to get into the team at the start of the season. I mean, a fairly regular part of the under-18s, but hadn't really featured. He was injured for a time. He found himself occupying the left wing-back position. And now with Jack Scott having handed out on loan in January and Harry Burt was still being used. That's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, you look at Bax Kilman and, and many other players. I mean, you can't be a professional football player these days without, you know, having two decent feet. So it's not the case of him being tied in. It also gives him the moment to, when he is driving forward and cutting into the box, brilliant if he can, you know. Perry trying to put it into an area for Harkin to try and chase. Brown back to his goalkeeper. Did well, I see Zach Geecock in the end. Game seems to have settled down into its rhythm now. Yeah, I think so. Well, it'd be nice to see Taylor Perry on the ball just a little bit more and him getting utilised because I'll get him with, then we do start to press a little bit and put the pressure on. Just got to be careful really not to sit too deep on Sundergaard as well. He needs to start pushing them out just a little bit. At times it looks like we're just a little bit... Griffiths all set to make the late runs. It's a good header down, brilliant. Save the follow-up, he's turned in. It's Harvey Griffiths who's there. That's what you want your centre midfielders to do. He's picking up the pieces in there. Obviously, a great first header from Marquez, and you know he was sharp enough to get to the ball before their defenders, which is which is brilliant. And, you know, it's great to see centre midfielders contributing with goals as well. Now then, Sondergaard decided. Great, just that little last piece of play there. Harry Burt whistled. It's, you, you kind of want to get him on the ball. He looks lively. He looks like he can beat a man. Uh, he's got decent feet. Quite aggressive in his play. Lovely turn from Hodnett trying to get Harkin away it wasn't far off that ball at all maybe just bent away from Lee Harkin at the final moment Harkin's attempted touch Lemba Kisa was up there in support Thompson Gordon back to the goalkeeper Nico Brown Zach Geekot. I was happy enough for Blues to have it in those type of areas. Yeah, it's interesting to see the interchanging, isn't it, with um, Harry Burt with sort of Lemba Kisa. There he wins the ball just from a little bit of decent pressure. And here comes Harkin. It's Lee Harkin to strike it. It's a firm effort and a good save in the end. Good strike on goalie. You know, the, the, I don't think there was anyone else with him at that point. A run towards the near post. I think, like you said, you looked at that Swansea game where, you know, was it our average age? Was it 17? 17.3. Just 17 to be a small point in there. Uh, I think it's. I think it's important. It's massive, isn't it? It's brilliant to see as well that we've got so many good young players and obviously there's a big game at Molyneux on Saturday as well, so um, I think well defended. I think Harkin was a little bit wary of going offside, so couldn't take his run further forward. It's a shame Taylor Perry didn't take it on himself in some respect. Hodnett to try and put it into the penalty area, a little bit too close to the goalkeeper. Marquez was trying to 
to delay G Cock from getting the Paul Dello card. Takes the cross out. Oh, goalkeeper didn't know where he was going. And that's the final action. I'll tell you, definitely number six is still on the field because here he is chasing the ball. It's over the top of him and all the way through. going to finish this game and then Lee Harkin through the middle Harry Burt whistle and Jack Hodnett either side the attacking trio for Wolves Hodnett Perry to strike it oh couldn't get it on target I think they've definitely clashed heads there, there haven't they it's a nasty one that Blues have made another change. Marcel Lewis has gone off and Otis Lewis has come on. <laughs> and thankfully, everybody. Not a bad run this from Hodnin. He spotted an opportunity to go for goal. Oh, he's asking quite a lot, especially on his weak. Good forward positions, Jack Hodnett, and putting some good balls into the box. Just that little bit of composure there. Let's read the play really well, Christian Marquez. That's the key element to his game. Parking. Brown across in front of him. And there's that element that were Wolves to go out and try and sign players with the experience of the football, doing whatever work he could. He's done an awful lot of work with Darius Vassell, the former Villa Man City striker who works in the Wolves Academy. Up his game. And here we are, halfway through the season, in his first year as a scholar. And he's Getting regular game time with the under-23s. I think it's the bigger picture as well, isn't it, with some of these lone guys going up. Well, maybe start to be more urgency about Blues play. At the moment, he's doing a lot of work for, for no out, outcome. He's, he's not had much possession of the ball, but he's putting a hell of a graft in terms of chasing the ball. Now Nathan Fraser spotted the movement of Griffiths. What a good effort. Really good effort. That was neat interplay. Yeah, great play between the front three, wasn't it, there? And eventually finishing with uh, a great shot as well from Griffiths. 